Welcome to another edition of the CS Podcast, where you can hear interviews with special guests such as Dayon Buchanan, Tom Waddle, Pierre Desir, Brent Barry, Ed Werder, and many others. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. So be sure to subscribe and tune in to the CS Podcast on YouTube at youtube.com slash christianre722. Did you not get the memo? That's www.youtube.com slash christianre722. For great interviews, be sure to check out the CS Podcast. You are ridiculous! Welcome back to the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I am now joined by a guy who I would say is no doubt the best wide receiver in the NAIA. He is a 2015 NFL Draft prospect, Chris Allen out of Friends University. Chris, as always, I appreciate you taking some time to join the show. How's it going? It's good. Thank you for having me. And then the pleasure is all mine. So uh, let's get right to it and talk about the incredible season you're having. I mean, after five weeks, you've been able to bring in 24 receptions for 817 yards and 10 touchdowns. Uh, I've been able to watch a few of your games, and it just looks like you're flat out better than the competition you're going up against. Uh, how exactly would you, uh, you know, how, how would you say you've been able to have so much success this season? What What is it? Um, just because of my last season, my senior season, and that's probably my last time going around, so I'm just trying to make the best of the opportunities that I have. Mm-hmm. And this past week, Chris, you guys uh, played Kansas Wesleyan uh, for your homecoming game at that, and you guys were able to put a, put a nice beating on them. The final score was 53-14. to You personally had the single most dominating individual performance I have ever seen with eight receptions, 272 yards, and five touchdowns. Uh, having a few days to look, at, look back at it, uh, what do you have to say about that performance you were able to put up? I mean, it was definitely eye-opening. Um... There's really a lot going on with me right now. Um, my cousin, uh, he's got diagnosed with cancer again. So I kind of just like, that kind of motivated me just to just keep going and keep striving. Even though I can't be there with him because he lives in Tennessee, um, it just helps me to stay focused and just continue what I'm doing and doing it for him. Yeah, I'm definitely sorry to hear that. So is it safe to say that he, he gives you that extra motivation to uh, be great on the football field? Yes, sir. And after that dominating performance, Chris, you were uh, named both KCAC and NAIA Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, you're the first player from Friends University to win a national award in over two years. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out that you won those awards? Um, it was a blessing. I thank God um, just for giving me you know, the opportunity like I did Saturday just to show what I can do and help my team get a victory. I mean, it's a blessing. I mean, it's, going, it's just motivation to keep doing what I'm doing and help my team give it wins. Right on. Now, now I mentioned eight receptions, 272 yards, and five touchdowns this past week. Uh, what, what's the, what, what exactly is that like? I mean, for those who have been watching Friends University for the last few years now, we know that uh, you guys are a run-first team. At least that's what it looks like. And then here you are. I mean, th- I, I believe it was week two or week three you win a game without having a reception. I think you guys only had about five or six receptions that entire game. And here you are uh, having a monster performance. I mean, well, what's that like as a wide receiver, uh, knowing that there might be a game where you have zero receptions or, or one and two and then uh, there, there's also weeks where you could have eight receptions for over 200 yards and five touchdowns. What's what's all that like? Um, like you said, uh, we were run first offense, which it doesn't really bother me because I love blocking too. But as long as we get the win, then I'm not worried about anything. And also like, whenever coach calls my name, I mean, it's either to just catch the ball or not, you know, because you never know when your opportunity is going to come back again. Well, well, you say, you know, as long as you guys get the win, everything's all right. I spoke to you right before the season began, and you said that your number one goal for your final college football season was to win the conference championship and, of course, the national championship. Right now, you guys are 3-2. and two. You could easily be 5-0. and oh. The two games you lost so far this season were only by three points to Peru State and Sterling. Five weeks into the season, seeing the team that you have, uh, do you still believe in those goals? Uh, do you still believe those goals are attainable? Yep, I believe in it even more now. I mean, even though we lost those two games by three, the past couple of weeks we have improved so much offensively and defensively, and I'm really proud of my team. And it's like the great chemistry amongst each other. Everybody has the same goal. Everybody wants to play for each other and just go out there Saturday and just play for each other. 
Absolutely. You definitely have a lot to be proud of. Chris Shanfell talking to Friends University wide receiver in 2015 NFL draft prospect Chris Allen. And Chris, just a few more questions and I'll let you go. Recently, you committed to playing in the FCS Bowl in December at FIU Stadium in Miami. I know we're still a couple of months away, but how excited are you to showcase your talent in front of NFL scouts and to go against uh, you know some of the top small school talent? Um, this is a, uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, just really excited just to see, like, I mean, I've never been to Florida before. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm really excited just to go there. But right now I'm just worried about, you know, just getting this ring with my team because I never know when well, next time I'm going to see them and right. play with them again. So. Right, so uh, this this uh, Saturday in two days you guys are taking on McPherson College. Uh, have you been able to watch anything on film, uh, see anything that you guys are going to be uh, be able to attack this weekend? Um, yeah, I mean, even though they, I mean, they lost a couple of games, they still could beat us. It's capable, it's capable this season because a lot of upsets, uh, such as Tabor losing against uh, Southwestern and also Bethany losing against Ottawa. So who knows? They might come out strong and we have to come out even stronger. And you're, you're going to be so, taking I mean, out your we, former team, uh, Bethany College, in, in just a few weeks. How, how excited are you for that? I mean, I'm excited because we lost against Ottawa last year and they beat them. So, I mean, they said they turned a program all the way around. So, I, really, I want to see that in person. All right, man. Well, that, that definitely sounds great. Chris, uh, once again, uh, congrats on the absolutely incredible performance you had last week. Best of luck this weekend against McPherson College, and I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Keep up the great work, and hopefully we'll chat again. All right, man? All right. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. Take care, man.